<laughs> What's the straw that breaks the camel's back that leads to, all right, I got to do this. Is it a string of close but no cigar, like lost rolls or that sort of thing? Or No, it is the day I have the, uh, the worst audition of my life. And um, so there is a director from England. He's doing a, a movie about pimps and hustlers. And so I go in to audition and... Uh, I'm depressed already. Right, right. And so anyway... He he humiliates me. He goes, no, 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 you get out of the Cadillac. He's a bad mofo, you know. You, <laughs> Shonda Quanda Niqua, I know you're holding out on me, ho. And then I want you to say, biotch, biotch, biotch. Oh, <laughs> and uh, do it again this time, and this time stick your ass out. Can you stick your ass out? You black guys have big asses. Can you move your big ass around? Oh, my God. You know, okay, okay, you want me to do it? Okay, hold your cock. Or do you call oh. dick? Do you say dick, cock, cock, dick? Hold, hold your cock. Is that a direction, and so, Robert? This is real. And so then... What is this director uh, directed before? I don't I didn't know. I, okay. I was just going. So anyway, I finished the audition and I'm outside the room and and I'm you know, like you're it's like you're you're a sellout at that point. You just want the job and you're selling your soul. And I was and I had sold my because I was like, you know, would you you know, would you like to see a dick adjustment? You know, anything you can I could do differently? You know, I was like selling. And he was like, No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. No, 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 don't apologize. Don't apologize. Don't apologize. <laughs> and so I walk out. And the door is cracked open, and uh, I can hear him talking, and he goes, he's all wrong, he's all wrong, I need a nigga, I need a nigga, wow. and he's just screaming, oh, and, so, <laughs> and so I leave, and I'm like, damn, that's what they think of me, damn. I go to Keenan's house, and, you know, and uh, Keenan sees the look on my face, and, you know, Keenan, Keenan, because he has... Ten brothers and sisters. He would always cook, and he could cook his butt off. So Keenan's in there cooking, and he goes, and he goes, cock balls. You know? <laughs> and I was like so mad. I was like, Keenan, this we we gonna die doing this bullshit, man. I said, fuck this, man. We got to do something. And then that thing came out of my spirit, and I was like, we got to make our own movies. And then what they, year is this in which you declare that? This is uh, eighty. Wow. This is 83. And so Keenan goes, uh, Rob, you never directed anything. You never made a short film. You know, you're talking about making a movie. And I was like, if we don't do this, we're going to die. We'll figure it out. Let's make a movie. And I had done, you know, I was making money on my dog food commercials. So I'd make a lot of money. <laughs> and I had just done a soldier story with Denzel. And so I had like $60,000 saved in the bank. And I was like, you know, and everybody was like, you know, you're going to get a Porsche, you're going to get a Jag, what you going to do with that money? And I was like, let's make a movie. And it was like, but you never did it before. And I said, that doesn't, it doesn't look hard. I've been on enough sets. I, I, I could do, we could do this. We could do this. And I basically taught myself how to make a film. And we, everything we did, um, the film was shot in 12 days, the whole <laughs> film. 12 of the hardest days of my life. I'm, I'm co-writing with Keenan. Can you walk me with... Yeah, I mean, casting, from, 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 all the things. From soup to nuts, yes. like... So, um, I have 60000 in the bank. Right. And so then I go, let's just make... And Keenan and I, you know, we start writing, and we're like, let's just make a movie about our lives. You know, like, people say, write what you know. Right. Let's just start writing. It's like, let's do that audition. Let's do that part. Okay, hey, you know, and you know what? And let's show them what we, who we are. So I says... I want to always play a detective. And he goes, yeah, we could play a detective. And then I could play the bad guy. Why don't we call him Jerry, Jerry Girl? Girl? Oh, <laughs> dude, that'll be perfect. So then the I'll Jerry be Sam Girl. Ace, like Humphrey Bogart was in the movies. Instead of, yeah. instead of Humphrey Bogart, I'm Sam Ace. And I'll be cool like Sam. And we do it in black and white. Yeah, 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 yeah. The and then it's like. There's <laughs> no like. point in which you're just like, ah, we're in over our heads. Who are we kidding? Like, No, because, because you know, I, I call it the salami theory. A salami is a piece of meat like this, and you just cut off one little piece, one little piece. And so I just knew to cut off one little piece at a time. I wasn't trying to go like, ah, ah. I was like, okay, this is how much I have for my rent and my gas <laughs> and my car. We can't touch that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take everything else and put it on the table. So then how much does it cost to make to uh, uh, catering? We could do pasta. We could do chicken. We could do so-and-so and, -so and get it, you know, da-da-da-da. We could get the pastries and blah-blah-blah-blah-blah. So craft service taken care of. Hey, uh, back then you could rent the camera 
on a Thursday, say you're going to shoot for one day, and then you go like, I missed the deadline. I'll bring it back <laughs> on Monday. <laughs> so then you shoot for your whole All weekend. weekend. Yeah. And then you shot with shortians. So I called Norman Jewison from A Soldier Story and uh, Ron Swarey, the producer, and I said, I'm going to make a movie. Can I have the leftover film from A Soldier Story? And he goes, you know, they call me Bob. Bobby, take it all, Bobby, take it all, take it all. So then I get the leftover film. And if, and, and for those of you who don't know, oh, short ends are, right. yeah. okay. if it, a short end, so the concept of short ends, for those of you that understand film, is that a magazine to shoot, to load on the old school cameras was 10 minutes long. Okay. If the scene is seven minutes, you have three that minutes of left. film left over. You can't do the whole take again, so you just have three minutes to go get another mag. So right. that three minutes of film, nobody can really shoot anything with three minutes. I go give it to me, so if I've got to do one scene and go, like sometimes I only had like a minute of film, and I just say, just say Winky Dinky Dog. And it's like, Winky Dinky Dog, we got it, it's rolled out. Okay, let's go, moving on. <laughs> and so reload, reload, reload. And so it would just be going that fast and that quick. And uh, short ends, short ends. We couldn't afford the high um, editing places. So Keenan is always like, this is where we got into that brain thing because Keenan was like, he says, Rob, where do they edit pornos at? Because if we go to a porno place, we could really edit over there. And so I said, I hear in Chatsworth they got porno places. So we went there initially. What? Got a deal to edit porno. It's me and 16 porn, porn editors. <laughs> And I had never heard anybody, I had never heard anybody direct porn. So then you hear like, you're like, I'm walking down the hall waiting on my cut. And then I can look in other people's room. I look in a room and then you, you see the editor there and he got a cigarette and he's editing and he's doing the whole thing. And then you can hear the director's voice. Uh, uh, put your leg down. Put your leg down. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Put your head back. Put your head back. Put your leg down. Put your head back. Look, and, and I'm like, and they're just, yeah. Cock balls. Yeah. Yeah. Cock, balls. Cock, balls. Cock, balls. Cock balls. And so, so we, so the actors... You know, my whole thing was, I, look, uh, I'm going to make this movie and uh, I'm going to take you through boot camp because I started in theater when I was a kid. So I said, we're going to do acting exercises. I was wondering what you do. We, and we did we, we actor exercises, warm ups and all of that, rehearsing, rehearsing. Wait, how did you even rally the troops? Everybody like this, wasn't Anne Marie Johnson sort of established. No, nobody was established. I've seen her on extras and no, not that, back the then. The first time I've ever seen her was Hollywood Shuffle. I mean, she had done little things, but not really like popping. Yeah. Okay. And the actors but that played like your grandma. No, John hadn't really. John had done stuff, but it was you know it was like there was a time when it was like the black exploitation, which was not exploitation. It was just movies where we were the leads. Right. You had that period with Melvin Van Peebles and all of those, and Michael Schultz and Cooley High, Gordon and Park, then yeah. there was like a little bit of pause where there were no movies like where we were, and then. Spike was in New York doing She's Gotta Have It while I was in L.A. working on Hollywood Shuffle. Okay. And so that was that time. And so there were actors that were working, but the work, work wasn't consistent. So then the thing for me was to say, look, I don't have any money to pay you, but when I, I, you're going to have a great time, we're going to make a movie, we're going to make history, you know, and There's work with me. over here at the craft services. Right. <laughs> exactly. Right. And, that, and that was right. That was right. And so they were like, he's going to feed us and he's going to do this. And so, um, and I will have respect for your time. I will they, always. They all have day oh, jobs, right? They all right. have day jobs, and so we shoot on the weekends. So I, I will get you in and get you out. And so the one thing I learned early on was I know how to plan. And so I was. I did the call sheets, and I knew we had to be invisible so that people wouldn't break, shut us down. So I go, we're going to shoot at this house, but park three blocks away. And here's where you can park and then walk over. And, hey, don't hang out in front of the house. You know, hang in the back. Be Please be quiet so that we can shoot, shoot, shoot. And then we're gone. And then by the time we shot all of our outdoor stuff like the Black Acting School, yeah. Sunday morning. Sunday morning, people met in my house at 5 o'clock. We went to Nicholas Canyon, uh, Nichols Canyon and uh, laid everything out, jumped in the, the van. Mountain yeah. Where where we goes like, oh white woman. you know, yeah. So, oh so, and, and so by the time. Well, what about like the, 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 the beauty shop where Anne Marie Johnson worked at? Like that was in, uh, we, we made a deal where we said, Hey, we will uh, pay a hundred dollars plus clean up, you know, for a couple of weeks if you let us shoot. And that was like on Crenshaw. So we just, you know, it, or the it, movie theater. I'm sorry. The I'm movie not. theater. The movie theater was the old Baldwin theater that's not there anymore, and it was owned by these two brothers. And basically, we just said, you know, hey, 
we don't have a lot of money to, to pay you, you know, but we'll clean up, we'll mop the floors. And I think I mopped that theater for about a couple of weeks after it was done. And they said, hey, you can shoot, but you got to be out before the movie starts at 11 o'clock. So you, it was an active movie theater. Yeah. And you guys would shoot on the off hours. What we shot before the movie started. So like 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 back then in the morning, the, in oh, the morning wow. we shot in the morning so we'd get there I think we got there like at four o'clock set up started shooting we had to wrap out by ten thirty and then the movie started at eleven. Dude, th- the same way that the disaster artist was made about the room. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I need yeah, a yeah. movie made about, about how show. this movie got made. <laughs> this is the first meta movie about <laughs> making yeah. a movie about a movie about yeah. someone who didn't get to make movies. Yeah. So continue. So so um, so then the actors, I, everybody that I had ever auditioned against, you know, because because the other thing is that you go like, oh, that guy's really a good actor, or oh, I've I've seen her and stuff before. She's really good. And so everybody I ever auditioned against, I say, hey, I'm trying to do this movie. Do you mind being in the movie with me? And I was like, and 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 they were like, sure. Have you ever directed? I says no. You know, I said, but you know, I I was. They knew coming out of the theater, I knew what I was talking about because I had been in theater. So everybody said yes. And um, and I said, you know, I won't take my money first. Your money will be the first money. As soon as the money comes in, you're, you will get paid first. And so that was the best day so of my life. you made a spec deal of like if this goes to the theater and makes money and whatnot. Well, I didn't, wait, there was no deal. It was my word. It was my word because I we didn't have a lawyer or anything, so it was just my word. Like I go, you have my word. If oh, there's it, nothing it, on paper, not a contract. There's no, nothing on paper. One day word, what okay. good is your signature? Well, you know, yeah. so 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 basically, so here's here's the deal. So th- that was the happiest day of my life because, um, when the film is done, I'm just gonna jump ahead a little bit and come back. But when the film is done, I say to the Samuel Golan company, Sam Golan says, I love this film, I want to distribute it. And so then I say, uh, hey, can I get my check like now? And he goes like, well, you know, why you, 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 like, you need it? He says, I said, well, I charge the rest of the movie on credit cards. And he was like, <laughs> you charge the film on credit cards? And I was like, yeah. And so then I, I go, it's like $40,000 and I need that money like now. And he was like, you did? And he says, this is the, the, the best story ever. And I told him, I said, hey, I couldn't pay for, you know, food, but I could charge it. I said, I couldn't put, you know, so I went through how I did all, all this, the charging. So then he goes, um, he goes, we'll do that and we'll take care of everything. I said, but the first thing is that I got to pay all these actors yeah, because yeah. I said, I told him and so he says okay he says how soon do you want to do it we're gonna sign a deal and I said how soon can you do it and he goes you know like it's it's Thursday he says it's gonna take me some time to get it together for Friday I said can we do it Sunday at my house and so Sunday at my house I was living on uh, Windsor no no I was living on uh, Orange Drive and uh, right off of Melrose. And I said to all the actors, meet, meet, meet at my house at this time. The accountant from the Goldwyn Company is going to be there. I have a one bedroom. You'll, meet, you'll sign your contract in the bedroom. You'll wait in the living room. I have drinks and food and everything. And they got their checks before I got mine. And they all did it and came in my bedroom and they signed their contracts. <laughs> and that was the happiest day you know, yeah. of my life. I, this is the first nah. time I'm applauding on my own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 